video I'm going to cover how to set up your Photoshop brush tool for success in drawing and sketching. If you head on over to my blog www.alisonbeer.com you'll also find a full blog post on the difference between using a brush tool versus the pen tool. So let's get into it. Here we are in the Photoshop interface and we are using the brush tool. So you're going to go across and you're going to press on here and then we need to go and look over on this side at this interface here. So this, you can see it says brush presets and I have my default brush set as 70 pixels in diameter. So this is my default brush, but the pixels are not, the diameter is not the most important thing and I'll show you why. Have a look at my circle here. Now I'm going to tap away on my keyboard, you can see my circle is getting smaller. And here the circle is getting bigger. And there's a very simple way of adjusting the diameter of your brush stroke on the keyboard and it is the hard square bracket. So the left hand hard bracket, the opening hard bracket, reduces the size of your brush diameter and the closing hard square bracket increases the size of your brush diameter. So ultimately it's not that important where you start off with because you can so quickly and easily adjust your brush diameter to exactly what you want it to be. So if we're not that concerned about the brush diameter, what are we interested in? And I'll show you what's far more important to keep track of. And that is the line profile. So I'll show you why. If we select something like this, and we say, all right, we've got a 70 pixel diameter brush stroke, and that's what it gives me. You can see there's absolutely no variation in the width of that line whatsoever. Whereas if I go and select this one, which looks kind of like a wave with these tapered ends, and then I go and draw, using the same pressure, you can see I've got a much finer line and it's slightly tapered at the ends, fatter in the middle. This is what's called a pressure width variation. So the harder the pressure I put, the more my width variation broadens, shall we say, from very, very light pressure giving me a very, very fine line to deeper pressure giving me a wider line and then the most pressure giving me the widest possible line, coming close to that 70 pixel diameter. So why is it important to have this line variation, this width variation from pressure? It's simply because it's a more natural way to draw. So if you think about drawing with pencil and paper, if you draw very lightly with your pencil, you're going to get a thinner, finer line. Whereas if you draw more strongly, if you press down harder, you're going to get a darker, certainly, but also a wider line. Obviously, again, limited by how wide or how blunt, I guess, your pencil is. And that's exactly the sort of result that you want with your cartoons. If you look at this picture that I've just quickly drawn up here. You can see there's a fine line up here at the brow of this little lady and as I've gone to the, co the corner around her nose it's wider, the corners of her mouth are narrower, this line here is very narrow and then widening as it goes down into her neck. And so you get this interesting dynamic from the changes in the width of the lines. You might be thinking well if I draw with pencil and paper I also end up with uh, either a pale line or a dark line and wouldn't I want that as well and you have this thing here called opacity if you click it like this you get a similar thing you see soft pressure paler line hard pressure darker line but this isn't very helpful when you're doing outlines like this because as I vary the pressure I get a more wishy-washy line and I've got to press really hard to get 100% opacity. So we're not so concerned with whether we get light and dark at this point. What we're concerned with is whether we get width variation. Do we get fine line to thicker line? That's what's very very important. As a quick recap then, we've got two things that we're looking at when we set up our brush. The first is line diameter, which is not as important because we can vary it very easily up and down using the hard brackets on our keyboard. And the second thing is width variation. And width variation is vastly more important because width variation 
is what gives us the natural feeling when we draw. So if you're going to choose one over the other, or make sure that you choose the right thing, you want to choose width variation. And width variation is this wave-like form here on the right-hand side. Did you like this video? If so, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to my channel there. And if you'd like even more tips that I only share on email, head on over to www.alisonbeer.com and sign up for email updates. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.